Um, you taught uh, John Mayer and Gillian Welch. Uh, what did they they learn from you? And are there like examples you can give from their songs that you could see what what they learned or picked up? Um. Well, uh, you know, my, my, my focus is on supporting your ideas mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. with, with your structure uh, mm -hmm. or, you know, with whatever tools are uh, available, mm -hmm. uh, which I call prosody. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, uh, that, that's something that uh, both John and, uh, and Gillian are quite aware of and work very hard mm -hmm. to make sure that what they are doing in terms of melody, harmony, uh, rhyme scheme, uh, line length, uh, number of lines. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, um, I talk about, uh, in terms of prosody, I talk about uh, uh, stability and instability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So is, um, is your idea, uh, how do you feel about it? Do you feel like it's, ah, yeah, that's the truth. Uh, you know, I'm really happy to be talking to you, mm -hmm. or I'm re really happy to be talking to you. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you, you you can tell how I feel by my tone of voice there, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Whether whether it's stable or unstable, mm -hmm. and so that's uh, something that covers everything, uh, covers your idea, uh, and so if you're feeling uh, if your if your concept is, uh, gosh, I wish I wish you were mine, but you're not, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. then your structure can uh, make you feel that too. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in John's first uh, Grammy winning song, "Your Body Is a Wonderland," mm -hmm. uh, the line "Your Body Is a Wonderland" happens three times. Mm -hmm. Three, of course, is an odd number. And uh, uh, it 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 makes you feel incomplete, mm -hmm. makes you feel unbalanced, makes you feel unresolved, uh, or in my language, it makes you feel unstable. Mm -hmm. So the fact that uh, John says that line three times uh, in his first chorus, uh, they've just gotten into the room together. Mm -hmm. He certainly wants more, and so. Uh, the fact that uh, he drops you off the end of the building with uh, with a three line chorus uh, uh, makes you want to go further, mm -hmm. and so so then he goes into the second sequence where um, now they're getting it on and so on, uh, and then uh, uh, the 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 second chorus uh, again three lines feeling unstable making you move forward, and finally at the end of the song. He says it four times, which is "Let's have a cigarette," uh, uh, and and so the instability of the three-line chorus—that's so, something that uh, that he took away from Berkeley, mm -hmm. uh, because we talk about um, the compositional um, compositional tools that you have structurally, which are number of lines. So an even number of lines feels stable; odd feels unstable. Uh, length of lines when two lines match it feels stable when they don't match mm -hmm. it's unstable so eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe feels very stable mm -hmm. Mary had a little lamb fleece was white as snow feels unstable because they're different line lengths mm -hmm. and then rhyme schemes uh, can feel unstable A A B B is very stable uh, a, B, A, B is very stable, but A, B, B, A, as you see in uh, James Taylor's uh, Sweet Baby James, is very unstable, mm -hmm. so that your rhyme scheme can create feeling all by itself to support whatever it is you have to say. And so those are the kinds of ideas that uh, John and Gillian, and by the way, Tom Ambridge, uh, uh, and... Uh, uh, various other oh, uh, various other folks. I've got a I've got a f uh, former student uh, up for three Grammys uh, this year. Wow. Uh, Ingr Ingrid Andrus, uh -huh. uh, uh, who's uh, 
song more hearts uh, more hearts than mine uh it really created a stir in nashville last year uh-huh. Uh-huh. but that's that's up for a grammy and she's up for a uh a grammy just across the board and as you know, across all genres for best new artist wow um, so, and that's uh you know that's basically her songwriting that's doing that for her mm-hmm. 